In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shadow so that it looks like Bugs Bunny is really in the water and the sun's beating down on him, and then there's a shadow. Okay, so you need to be on Bugs Bunny's layer. I believe that is layer one. Click on my eyeball to just make sure. Um, then I'm going to just use my quick selection um, just to select him really quick. So if I just click over him really quick, it'll grab him because he's the only thing that's on that layer. Looks like some of the other stuff. There we go. I think that's all selected now. Okay, so I'm going to right click, layer via copy. Okay, now I want to do the one that is on the bottom. If you accidentally do the one that's on the top, all you have to do is just click and drag it to the bottom and you'll be fine. So I'm going to click and drag to select that item again and if you need to see it you can turn this top one off so layer three that should be turned off um, then you're going to go over and yours will probably look like this it's the gradient tool if you click and hold down on the gradient tool and then choose the paint bucket tool and then you're going to want to change your foreground color to black and then hit okay now this paint bucket tool, you're just going to click in here and it should turn everything black. Now sometimes it does this crazy stuff, so I'm just going to get with the paintbrush. I'm just going to color it in really quick. Well, it looks like I didn't get everything selected. Let's try it again. There we go. That's good enough. Okay. A little line in there. All right, that'll work for now. Okay, so I'm going to do Control D to deselect. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my opacity down to like 10, 10 to 15. Oh, probably more than that. Okay, probably 19. As soon as it's at 19, if it's highlighted blue, then make sure you hit enter on your keyboard. And we can turn back on the top Bugs Bunny layer. And then I'm going to take layer 1, the one that's below the Bugs Bunny that is the correct one. I'm going to hit Control T, and I'm going to rotate this and move it down. We probably want to make it much smaller because usually shadows are, are smaller. And you can place it wherever you would like, wherever it looks most natural. 